Hey, hey, copywriters, you know you need a contract when doing business with clients, but the question is, what do you put in that contract? Let's talk about it. Hey, I'm Tanae, the attorney founder of Legal Goodness. That's my online contract template store for business owners. So first up, I always start with the scope of work. Uh, that is the services you will be providing to your client. You want to be very clear about the do's and the don'ts, right? So um, a lot of times I will advise uh, service providers to um, look to their sales materials, perhaps on your website or in your sales materials that you distribute via email, for example, you may have packages listed, right? So you may say for this amount of hours um, per month, uh, this is what I offer. So whether it be website copy, blog posts, social media posts, email, uh, newsletters, whatever that may be, you want to list that in that scope of work section so that your client knows exactly what you're going to be providing to them. Next up, we got to talk money, right? So those payment terms are crucial. Um, you want to outline um, how you expect to be paid. So whether you will be paid on some type of monthly retainer, um, you want to put that in there, whether you're going to be paid perhaps it's monthly, but perhaps um, it ends after a six month engagement. If that's the case, you want to put that in there. Um, in my copyright agreement template, I offer all types of situations, right? So that you can just um, copy and paste and swap it out and put it right into the uh, into the template because, you know, depending on your business, you may have a unique way of receiving payment or it may vary between clients, but whatever that looks like for you, you want to um, enter that under payment terms. If there are any penalties for late fees, you want to put that there as well. And you also may include things like rush fees. Sometimes clients come to service providers and they want things in a rush and that wasn't necessarily, you know, accounted for, right? So maybe you have an hourly uh, rush fee there. Uh, maybe you have something for additional services, right? A lot of times um, service providers are bombarded by clients um, who, who want um, so many other things done, right? You promised to do A, B, and C, and they want D, E, and F, and none of that was accounted for. So there should be or could be a provision in there for that. My, my um, agreement certainly has that after hearing from a number of service providers about how useful it is, I did add it to my agreement as well. But yes, you definitely uh, want to have something like that there. You know, you want to contemplate um, the different types of scenarios you're going to encounter with clients and maybe you've experienced it already and know how useful that would be. All right, contract term and termination. Um, perhaps the contract is ongoing, um, perhaps it's project-based, whatever that arrangement is, you wanna have that in there. And very importantly, you also wanna note termination. Okay, so hopefully it's a beautiful relationship that lasts for as long as you and the client want it to last, but if there are hiccups, if there is some reason that you and or the client want to exit the agreement, you want to make that as simple a process as possible. Typically, that just involves giving the other party notice. So perhaps it is 30 days notice, 30 days written notice to the other party, letting them know that you want to um, end the contractual relationship. Um, it could be 30 days. I often use that as like a benchmark. It kind of just depends on how long it takes you to offboard the client. But whatever that looks like, you want to put that in your agreement. Okay, so as a copywriter, there is um, there's a lot of IP being shared, right? Intellectual property. Um, usually, there is some type of IP clause in there, basically noting that uh, whatever copy you create for the client is um, considered a work for hire under U.S. copyright law, and that that client will um, have ownership of it. So you're basically transferring the ownership uh, to the client, right? So that's typical um, for some service providers there may be the option of them retaining the copyright and who knows, <laughs> situations vary. That may be the situation with you um, and your client, but for the most part, generally speaking, um, IP is usually transferred to the client so they that they can continue to use whatever it is that um, you wrote for them. So whether they're using it ongoing in their marketing, uh, that content continues to exist on their blogs uh, after you've um, you maybe left and gone on to work with someone else and so forth. All right, another important provision to include is confidentiality, right? Because, you know, when you are a service provider and you come into someone's business, a lot of times you have access to uh, proprietary confidential information that they don't want shared with a competitor. Um, <laughs> they don't want you blasting it out to social media, um, their internal uh, business practices, right? So um, it's, awful, it's often good to have some type of confidentiality provision, and it can certainly be mutual and go both, both ways, just so that the parties agree that whatever confidential information um, is exchanged, is shared during the course of the business relationship will remain confidential. 
All right, as a copywriter, we'd be uh, remiss not to have a revision section. There's copy that you're drafting, you're submitting it to the client for approval, and you wanna have a process for that approval. How many times can they send it back? How many times will you make changes? How much time does client have to review the copy and provide feedback? Put all this outlined in the agreement so that both you and the client are very clear on the revision process. All right, and speaking of that, um, it's also good to have something in your agreement about timing, right? Sometimes when you're working with clients, uh, you know, you're busy, they're busy, and timing can become, become an issue. You have a certain amount of time, you perhaps um, uh, booked a certain amount of clients to work with, and um, this one client is very late in getting back to you. It's kind of holding up your other work, it's holding up you from completing the project. What do you do then? So it's important that you have something in there involving timing so that you have a way to kind of speed things along or even hold the relationship, whatever um, you deem necessary if you're presented with a situation where a client is really unresponsive. Another thing you might want to have in that agreement is milestones and deliverables. And this one is on you, right? So um, what are you going to deliver and when? You know, it's kind of good to have a clear schedule of uh, what's being delivered, what's on the schedule, the client knows when it's coming, you know that you're working on it, kind of keeps everything on track. So if you're in need of a solid copywriter agreement, be sure to check out the links below. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more legal content. I'll see you in the next one.